a tradition as old as the ancient Britons, the annual cheese rolling at Cooper's Hill, Gloucestershire. In 1936, the cheese rolling champion was 21-year-old Gene Smith. I just looked at it and thought, oh, I should never go down there. I thought it was too steep. But when you go up, when all the people are stood round, it doesn't look so steep. Contestants chase an eight-pound double Gloucester from top to bottom. First down wins the cheese. I rolled halfway. I know that, but I didn't hurt myself. Once someone passed me, I made a dive, and that's when I rolled quite away. And then I got up and finished running. <laughs> From downhill to uphill races, the Red Marley Hill Climb at Great Whitley, Worcestershire, started in 1925 and often drew up to 11,000 spectators. It ended in 1971 because of dwindling numbers, but was revived three years ago when it attracted some who'd been in at the beginning. I'll go as far as the steep part. I, I, I never go at the steep part, but I you know, to make, make myself look uh, a chump. The first time I went up, I fell off, and the last time I went up, I fell off, <laughs> for different reasons. The late Howard Bayliss captured the images. Son Gordon was able to view the rare 9.5 millimeter film only recently. Well, I was always on the lookout for a projector, a suitable projector to show them. It took me 40 years to find one. <laughs> it never gets <laughs> Austin Green in Birmingham and the celebrations in 1937 for the coronation of George VI. The opening five years earlier of the Stratford Memorial Theatre by his brother, the Prince of Wales. Howard Bayliss died in 1965. He'd be so sort of surprised and pleased that the, the work that he did all those years ago is being shown now. He believes it was um, it's something to remember him by. How the man in the crowd captured the Midlands on film.